Here's another uh, chat I found. It's uh, Georgia, uh, Georgia Educators and Beyond. Um, and the, here's the hashtag. Uh, hashtag, you always use that, Gwyn Chat. So I went over to my tweet deck and that's what I typed in here. And when I did that, this column popped up. And this is the start of the chat. Welcome to Gwyn Chat. We exist to share ideas and grow relationships through our PLN. Don't forget to use the question one, answer one format to include Gwyn Chat in all your tweets. Um, and I'm going to go up and see. Here's an example. Question one, what happens to a frog's car when it breaks down? Then to respond, everyone creates a new post like this. Answer one, it gets towed away. Ha, ha, ha. I like that. Okay, so they, they just basically showed you how to chat, and I think that's awesome. Feel free to refresh. Um, Valerie, uh, let's see. So they're just announcing who they are. I'm Tracy, ES Media Specialist. Um, uh, Valerie Lewis, AP on year one, but educator for 19. And they're just introducing themselves. 22-year uh, education veteran turned technology coordinator. So you're just seeing everybody just kind of say, hey, this is who I am. Welcome to tonight's chat. And some people put up a little video things and little images. And um, they started talking about testing somewhere up here. Um, and this is three minutes ago. You will see as people answer 41 seconds ago. All right, here's a question. What are your go-to app sites tools for helping your students review facts in your classroom for any test? Notice they put the hashtag in there so it will show up in here. If they did not put that hashtag in their question or post, it would not show up in this column. And then we have the first answer. Well, he asked the question, then he answered it. Uh, for the upper grades, I like the simple stuff like Quizlets for review, but nothing beats student product like perspective. Now they move sometimes fast, so that's, that's a little tough. Responses via Flipgrid. Think educational role play. Here's another one. Uh, math teacher just coming in and introducing themselves and watching basketball games during the tournament. So they're kind of saying who they are. And you'll see other um, answers and questions coming up. People should be answering question two at this point. Um, and we'll see if anything else comes up. It's interesting because if you didn't know about Quizlet or if you didn't know about Flipgrid, you may make a note to say, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, check that out. Now, what if, what if I say, oh, Joel sounds like somebody that I might want to follow. And then I see father, husband, thinker, who is always looking for ways to lighten up. Uh, that I'm going to follow him. And once I follow him, I will be able to see all his posts. I could always unfollow him. Ah, you know what? I don't want to follow him. There I go. Gone. So there's no pressure in this. Okay, let's see. There's another one. Answer one, luckily, I only have to give an SPG in my class, in my classes, so I'm not sure what SPG is. But you can see when, oh, here's another one. Uh, love Flipgrid for perspective of learned materials. Here's another one. When I was in the classroom, I used clickers for reviews and made a game out of it. Students got the answer. SS is always students. Got the answer before I did and they got an extra minute on the test. Now I encourage teachers, TS, to use Google Forms with auto mastery add-on for remediation and enrichment based on scores. Now, I may say, well, I use Google Forms, but I have not tried this, so I'm going to check this out. There's so much that you can do with these chats and you know I don't have to be in Georgia to join a Georgia chat. Um, what else is going on tonight? Southern Illinois educators chat, superintendents chat, um, earth science geo chat. That's at 8 30. Um, getting into my bedtime so I'm gonna have to log off of this soon but I did want to show you that there's just every every night there's there are educational chats every single night this is tonight um, and then Thursday what's going on Thursday character ed chat 
7 o'clock, assessment for NICU users. I don't know what that is. Uh, what is school chat, arts and education, discovery education network, math teachers. So you can see there's just so much that we can be doing. And quite honestly, if you're involved in the chat, you can use that um, as, as one of your um, embedded learning. An hour spent on chat, you can probably print this out um, and show the evidence that you were, you know, engaged in a chat. And if you post, that would even be better. Now my cat's on the keyboard, so I don't know what's going to be coming up. But that's just a little way of, <laughs> oh gosh, Luna, that's just a little way to explore. Oh boy, did I lose it? Did I lose that? Luna, you got to move. You gotta, no, you got to move. You got to move. Come on. Come on. You're okay. All right. Now you're getting angry. I'm going to move this. Luna. Luna. Well, you're on my computer now. Luna? I am going to get this on you somehow. Because why not? What? You're all hyper now. <sighs> Luna. I know you, you're, you're ants in your pants now. I'm going to leave you alone because you're going to hit me. Luna, you you got in the way of my chat. Oh, Lord. Luna. Oh, 